The Cisco Valet series of products claims to be the simple way to connect your PC to a wireless network. However, I haven't really had a chance to put it to the test yet. So I've got a couple of Valet series products here. First of all, I have the Valet, 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 however you prefer to pronounce it. I'm going to say Valet or Valet. I don't know. I've got the Valet router right here. So this is a wireless end router. It's got four 1000 Ethernet ports and then it supports wireless end. Obviously that would be without wires. Okay, so here's the back of the router. That's basically what it looks like. And then I have the little USB key that comes with the Valet. So I'm going to do two different scenarios. First, I am going to connect the Valet to a computer running a third party wireless card. Okay, and then I'm going to use a Linksys Valet connector. So this is their own Valet branded USB Wi-Fi card. And I'm going to see how much different the process is, if at all, versus connecting to a third party one. This is the networking corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug my DGL4500, plug in the Cisco Valet, and then we'll go from there. Okay, the indicator lights we've got on here seem to be indicating wireless is working. Our internet connection is active and I have one LAN port plugged in. So that is the one that goes to, uh, as per the label, the side bedroom. So that's where I'm on my way back to. Okay, that didn't take nearly five minutes, but it did take about three. Uh, so congratulations, you are now connected to the internet. Remove your easy setup key and keep it in a safe place you will use it to connect other computers. So the easy setup key is basically just like a WPS button as far as I can tell, because it did manage to connect me to the network, but I don't think it really did anything advanced like along the lines of, what in the heck? Okay, hold on, maybe it did some more advanced things. It changed the name of Linksys 36 whatever whatever to Shiny Cheetah and also created uh, a guest login as well. That's kind of neat. So they've uh, generated some kind of, okay, well, hold on, let's open up the network and check. So, so it set it as a work network, which is interesting, rather than as a home network and its name, change the name. Okay, so let's, let's dig a little deeper and let's find out what exactly the easy setup wizard has done for us here. So connect another computer or another device to your valet so you can add devices say for example another computer in your house okay so basically this is just a, a wizard to walk you through walking down there and connecting the easy setup key okay uh here we've got wireless printer what if i wanted to do this refer to the printer's documentation okay so these are just little wizards let's say oh apple iphone smartphone what if i were to do that i have an apple iphone smartphone here right in front of me okay so what would I want to do? Okay, so the, here's the security key and the security type that it gives me and I can print these settings and then I can connect my smartphone. I'm not going to bother doing that. I know that'll work. Okay, back, back. What else do we got? We got guest access. So allow guest access, yes or no. So I could turn that off. I can set how many guests. So I could say only one guest is allowed. I can change the password. It looks like the password by default is Kiwi52, which is not bad. They should connect to the wireless guest network listed above, open a browser, and then enter the guest password. Neato! Well, that's a cool option. So you can set it up so that they have to enter a password besides just hacksering into your, uh, your shiny cheetah guest wireless account. Neat. Okay, so I can finish that. I'll go back. I actually, yeah, I really like this. The Cisco Connect software is looking pretty good to me right about now because this is the kind of this is the kind of layout that like my aunt can use, and um, that is really my benchmark for anything that is supposed to be simple. Is if my aunt can do it, then it's probably simple. Don't tell her I said that. But uh, what else do we got here? So valet settings. So I mean, telling her open up a browser and type in 192.168.1.1 and then go to the advanced and then there's no way there's no way she'll be able to handle that. So this is the kind of thing that she can actually handle. So safe web surfing alerts you if you're about to visit a potentially harmful website. Here's your valet name and password. Update or create an easy setup key. Okay, looks like you don't have to use the one that's included. Here's advanced settings, what do we got? So this is for expert use only. So stay away, this is exactly the kind of thing I would be 
pretty happy for it to tell my aunt before she goes in and messes up things. So admin, I copied the password, aha! So now we're going to 192.168.1.1. I don't have a password on it now, or apparently I don't. I don't know, that's odd because it gave me a password to use. Okay, so this takes me to how to actually set up. Sorry about that, my memory card filled up. Uh, so this is where you can actually control the router the way that more advanced people would be able to do it. Okay, so we'll close that. Close that. All right, so then we'll, okay, we're finished in here. And let, last but not least, let's have a look at the parental controls. So parental controls password, let's make it, uh, oops. Let's make it muffin man five, okay. All right, and the secret question will be, do you know Muffin Man? And the answer would be yes. Okay, so we've set that up. Let's have a look at what parental controls does for us. Okay, restrict access on test PC, block internet access here. You got times, block sites in appropriate for, block specific sites. Neato, and then finish. So thank you for checking out my uh, my one way of doing things. Actually, no, you know what? Let's uh, let's do it with the valet connector now and see if it's any different. All right. So when we install the Cisco uh, valet USB Wi-Fi thing, so there it is. Okay, we get a similar wizard. Okay, no, not that, not that. This, and we get a setup guide. So why don't we try that setup? And please wait, this may take up to five minutes. Okay, well, I'll be back then. Well, after a couple seconds, it prompts me uh, to tell it whether I have an easy setup key, which I do, but let's pretend for the sake of making things more difficult for ourselves that I do not. After a couple more seconds, it comes up with a list of which wireless access points there are around me, which I can select one, and then I can enter the password for Shiny Cheetah. Okay, well, I don't remember what the setup or what the uh, password is and uh, other than putting in the easy setup key I don't really know of any way that I can figure it out at this point But it looks like here basically this is my conclusion on the valet the router is the big one So if you get the valet connector Obviously you are assured that it'll be compatible with the router which can be a bit of a problem for wireless devices But the router and the easy setup key seems to be where the magic happens so I would definitely recommend, based on what I've seen so far from the Cisco Valet router, getting this for your less, uh, well, technologically inclined relatives or friends. And it looks like it should be quite a simple way for them to set up not only just connecting to the internet, but also managing some basic configuration stuff like parental controls and guest networks and stuff like that. Thanks for checking out this episode of Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.